we have a problem. We all have a problem and of a different nature. A philosophical and ethical problem and a political problem. I'll speak first of philosophy. <laughs> I won't speak of religion today because our problem is not a problem of religion. We have no problem with religions. We have a problem of philosophy first. Why? Because just now, in all Europe, not just here, not just in France, you have individuals, we have organizations trying to introduce a foreign law in our countries. A foreign law is not democratic, who's not respectful of human rights. And that's a problem. That's our problem. This law is named Sharia, the Sharia law, the law of Islam. But it is not our law. We are democratic countries. Law are voted by people. We are the makers of law. In Islam, people don't make law. You are under the slavery of a religious law. And I call it slavery. Yes, slavery. Our philosophical problem is we are in a fight. The fight with, between democracy and slavery. We are the camp of liberty, of freedom. Some people and some organizations are trying to introduce in our democratic countries a system based on slavery. And that's absolutely unacceptable. That's immoral. And more than that, it's illegal. That's the political part. Because what is Sharia? Sharia, you, everybody know about Islam. But Sharia is more mysterious because most of the time those people, those political activists, never speak of Sharia. Why? You will understand very fast because Sharia is a religious racism. When I speak of racism, it's very easy to understand. What is racism? It's when you separate, when you separate humanity in groups. Just now, it's not yet racism, but when those groups you introduce a hierarchy between these groups and saying those humans are better than those and those humans are inferior, are impure, you are, make, you are a racist. You are not a genetical racist, you are a religious racist. And Sharia introduced religious racism in Europe and that's unacceptable. And you should all be concerned here because you are the inferior part of humanity for Sharia. You are kafir, unbelievers, miscreant, and you are the worst part of humanity. You are not even a human being. And that's a problem. And Sharia is also religious xenophobia. Because you learn to hate people because they don't believe like you. We are a democratic society. We don't hate people because of what they think, but we act and we need to act because of what they do. And we have political activists now disguised as religious people. They say, we are religious people, but it's wrong when you try to modify the way the society is organized, to modify it in an undemocratic way. You are a political activist, you are a subversive person, and you should be put in jail or expelled from Europe. And it's not finished. Sharia, I'm not finished with Sharia. Sharia is religious sexism. Because in Sharia, the, the women are dominated by, by men. And that's unacceptable too. That's immoral. Here, we are the country of equality between men and women. When we get out of here, we're not going to be able to just make it very, very... So sorry to interrupt. Okay, let's continue. I was not finished with Sharia. Because, as I said, Sharia is religious racism. Religious xenophobia, religious sexism, but it's not all. It's only religious apartheid. Sharia law and promoters of Sharia law are introducing in our society 
a religious apartheid, a scandalous and immoral apartheid, a self-apartheid, and a food apartheid, a clothing apartheid, and behavior apartheid. Sharia is incompatible with the principles of democracy. And, but like for Sharia, we are based on a democratic prin principles. So, how can organization, how can individual try to promote a non-democratic and unrespectful and human rights ideology, totalitarist ideology? It shouldn't be possible. And the problem is, and that's why this problem is becoming a political problem, that our political people, our representatives, who should defend democracy, who should defend us against promoters of a non-democratic ideology, of a non-democratic way of organizing society. They don't protect us. Just look at this. A British citizen, non-violent, coming here to speak, to speak in a democracy, is forbidden by his own police, his own government to speak. How it is possible in democracy? How can you forbid people to speak? You are not insulting people. You are not preaching hate. You are just speaking about politics and ideology. How is it possible that in democracy it could be forbidden? In How can we pretend to be in democracy when religious organizations forbid people to speak? That's impossible, that's scandal, that's immoral. And that's why the idols was created. We have a, a political, dis a political, we have something political to say to our government, to... Okay, come on, you have something against democracy? Say it, say it loudly. You have something against democracy, we are here to speak about democracy. Yes, we are here to speak about democracy. We want to defend democracy. We want to live in democracy. We want to protect our freedom. We want to protect the freedom of our children. And this shouldn't be forbidden. This shouldn't be forbidden in a democracy. How can it, how it is possible? And the political problem we have, that we have political representatives who are not defending us. We. We have the right to say the political ideology defended by Islam is unacceptable. Even if it's, if it's offensive for some people. Hey, what's the problem? In democracy, you have the right to say offensive things. As, soon, as long as you don't insult people. And I, have I insulted somebody? As long as we don't preach hate. As long as we don't um, call for violence. And, is it the case? No. Who is violent here? We should have the, the right to say what we want. And this is a political issue. We have a problem with political activists trying to introduce non-democratic system they... in our country. Yeah, I'm, I'm, and no, I feel... the last thing I want to say is the, the alliance yeah, exactly. is a symbolization Whatever. of a simple fact in Europe. We are hundreds of millions of people who want to live under democracy and who want to be free. And we, and we are hundreds of millions of people not wanting Sharia. We don't want Sharia in Europe. Not now, not tomorrow, never. Oh. Yeah, yeah. And the alliance is here to say to our political to our politician, to our representative. You need to hear us. We have something to say. That if we are not doing your job at the next election, we will put somebody who has the courage to do the job, to do, to do his duty. And his duty, and their duty, is to protect us. Yeah. Is to protect us, to permit us to live in a free society, or in a democratic society. And if they don't do it at the next election, will you put them outside and because it's a fight between freedom and slavery we don't want to live in slavery because it's simply illegal to promote slavery and people promoting sharia are promoting slavery and that's not only illegal 
that's immoral and that's philosophically inacceptable. Thank you. Thank you very much.